a live lightning well in our tank, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it out of the sand. Be sure to look close because it'll suck inside its shell very quickly. They have this beautiful dark purple body. So it's going up inside of its shell right now because a couple reasons. One, it may think I'm a predator that's trying to eat it, so it's going to protect itself by sucking up inside of its shell and then sealing this opening called an aperture shut with this. It's called an operculum. So this part of the snail is really hard and tough and it helps protect the snail. It also will seal that opening shut so the snail can trap water inside of its body, keep itself moist and prevent it from drying out. So these creatures can survive out of the water for quite a long time. But this is how you can tell whether or not the animal is alive. As I mentioned before, they are born with their shells and they continue to grow with their shells. So you can never remove a snail from a shell. It will die if you do that. This is the snail's skeleton. So they never leave their shells. They can't switch in and out. So if you find a shell that's completely empty and there's no one inside, then it's okay to keep. But of course, if there's a snail or another creature inside, you have to put the shell back into the water. So be sure to look very close and all the way inside because sometimes they can be really far in and look for that brown circle, that operculum. That's going to show you whether or not the snail is alive. If a snail dies and the shell is empty, there's another creature that might move in and they're called hermit crabs. Hermit crabs will live inside of empty snail shells. So they have two legs in the back that they use to hook on and carry the shell around. These guys can switch shells if they need to, to grow or if they come upon a better shell, but we still should never take them out. This is their home, they carry it around, they need it for protection. So also look out for hermit crabs when you find shells. Be sure there's not one inside. If somebody's home, of course, we have to leave the shell on the beach and let the creature back into the water.